And today, a local nonprofit was actually taking part in teaching children about water safety. It's something that can really prove to be life saving. We're going to turn things now right now to our Jeremiah Marshall, who is live at the Corpus Christi Natatorium. And Jeremiah, the mission of this nonprofit is to teach in order to prevent another tragedy from happening. Katya, yep, you said it best. So go ahead and check this out. You have several students from CCISD at Veterans Memorial High School right now doing laps. They're raising awareness. They're having education. They're also working with young students from Evans Elementary School on the importance of water safety and whenever you come to any contact of an open water area. So this is all for Collins Hope. It's an organization with a huge impact on our community. And back in June of 2008, four-year-old Colin Holst drowned in a lifeguard pool in Austin, Texas. After his drowning, his parents from Corpus Christi learned drownings are the number one cause of accidental deaths for children under the age of five years old. We spoke to executive director of the organization, Alyssa Mangrum, who says drowning have no boundaries. And Collins hopes that this vow will ensure that no child in a family will lose another one or another loved one in for drowning. So that we really exist to, to do that one simple thing. So educate people about what they can do to be safer around water. Drowning is fast, drowning is silent, and drowning is preventable. And we also spoke to CCISD coach learn to swim coordinator Keith Springer who says having young minds teach their peers about swimming safety is a big influence and back out here live all the proceeds will go back towards Collins Hope and will go for education materials such as books and things that will help educate students about water safety reporting here at the Corpus Christi Natatorium Jeremiah Marshall Chris 6 News Katia life-saving Jeremiah Marshall reporting live thanks Jeremiah